intention of Cameroon was to win here. That's uh, for sure. If we won today, then uh, okay, it was a uh, finish for, for uh, South Africa. And uh, with the result of Mauritania, we were what, two points, three points ahead. So uh, it should be a very good uh, thing for us. So we tried to win, and we had more chances even than uh, last Saturday. So uh, if we could score today, I think we win the game. But uh, again, uh, South Africa is a good team, and uh, the question of uh, first question they asked about South Africa for me is surprising too. Uh, when I became coach of uh, Cameroon, I didn't understand why South Africa was lost with one point. And then I saw the playing in the, in the games, and I don't know what happens here and why why they have those difficulties, but they have good players, and and it's a good team. But still, they can't, uh, they, they don't qualify. I don't know why. Neither do we, coach. Uh, can I ask you about um, Song and Joel Matip? Will you be able to convince them to come back to the to the team for certainly for the next qualifiers for the World Cup, which starts in October, and particularly for Gabon next year? Um, so I uh, I spoke with with Song, and um, for him it was a little bit too early to come again to Cameroon because I had some difficulties after the World Cup in, uh, in Brazil. But uh, he promised me that for the next game it will be again available. So I hope that he keeps his promises and uh, that I can see him uh, in two months for the game against uh, Mauritania because uh, every coach uh, likes to have good players. And I think that's up. And Matip, Matip uh, I think it will be a little bit more difficult with him. Also with him I had a meeting. But now that his, uh, his brother is here, so I put a little pressure on his brother and I hope that he can convince him to come with us uh, for the next year. Okay, merci.